guys, I'm back with another haul. This one's going to be pretty long because I got a lot of stuff. I mean, I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> I went to Food Lion and Publix and Dollar Tree um, because I need some sugar-free things, and it's kind of hard to find sugar-free stuff at Food Lion. Um, so I had to go to a health food store like Publix to get sugar-free items. So let's just jump right into it. Um, so I got some sugar-free maple syrup. Um, again, this is just for a once in a while because I'm going to make some um, some egg loaf, um, which my friend Kendra Martin, like a description, uh, she made something. Um, she made egg loaf, egg loaf. And I said, well, it tastes great. It tastes kind of like French toast, only I could use some maple syrup with it. So I'm going to use some sugar-free. I've actually never tried sugar-free maple syrup. I've never had sugar-free maple syrup. I hope it tastes like syrup. Um, let's try it. Oh my goodness, it does. It tastes just like pancake syrup. So I'm very happy about this. This will be another buy in the very near future for keto pancakes or whatever. I got a lot of good keto stuff at the store too. Alright. I got some ragu tomato sauce to make um, this like, I'm going to make some chicken alfredo with these keto noodles that I found. I'll show you those in a minute, but now, cool. so I'm going to put stuff, stuff away as I go. Next, we have some lemonade. It's only two carbs per serving, actually, yeah, two carbs per serving. Um, and that's just from the added sugar. I know we shouldn't be eating added sugar and things, but, you know. Man, this is really good. I would probably mix this with some zero calorie, I mean, zero sugar Gatorade. Um, <clears throat> or with some cola... Zevia. I'm not trying to be ASMR. Yeah, this is good. I'm going to clinch. I got some no sugar added ketchup, as always. I got these small cans of tomato sauce for pasta, I, not for pasta, for spaghetti squash I'm going to be making. So this is only three carbs for a fourth of a cup. So if I put this and I mix it with some ground beef, about half a cup of serving will be about the amount of carbs. And if I put over some spaghetti squash, I'll still be in my carbs today. I'm going to try to do intermittent fasting this week. That's why I didn't get any snack stuff. I got three, actually. Um, two of them are roasted garlic, and one of them is basil, garlic, garlic, and oregano. I'll probably mix these all together and make a few meals, or I'll just use, actually, I'll probably have to make, I'll use all three, and then make like a tomato sauce that I can have over like some eggs or something, or put into an omelet, that'd be really good. Next, we have some unsweetened almond milk. Uh, my fridge needs to be emptied out. Oh my goodness, bro, are you? Well, that's just great. All right, I'm going to have to pause y'all for a sec. All right, so that was interesting. 
I realized I opened my fridge and saw that I had almond butter in there and it tipped over a few days ago, I guess. And some of the oil leaked out and got over a few things, which is fine. Like it was easy to clean up. It was okay. But like, why? <laughs> um, but yeah, so I had to get a few things fixed in there, but we're all good now. Actually, you know what? No, we're not. Guys, today has been a day. I got these from my friend who was driving me. I also got organic ones as a Christmas gift to somebody. I put these in one of the bags and I forgot instantly which bag it went in, so I just gave them the organic ones. I guess this one will just be replaced the ones. Because my friend, who was bad, I think his back was really hurting him. But he already um, promised to take me to the store. So he took me. So I got him the organic gummy gummy bears. I got him these gummy bears to thank him. And the organic ones were for, for someone else. Y'all. Whatever. I got a graham cracker pie crust. No, it's not keto. It's for something else. It's for an event. I'm making a pie. I'm not going to eat it. I promise. I'm sorry, guys. This is not the peppy Christian... Christian keto that you're used to. It's just it's been one of those days. Wait, I need to find my ice cream because that's going to melt. Alright. Let's try to be peppy. Alright, next. I got two pints of Rebel ice cream. This one's the vanilla. It's only five net carbs for the entire thing. So if I'm having a night where I just want to indulge, I can eat the entire thing. Or Rebel ice cream cookie dough, which is six grams net carb. The carbs. Now, let me tell you something. Kendra Martin, again, I'll link in the, in the description. She told me about these. These are so good. I love them, love them, love them. They taste good. They're sweet. They're so delicious. So, yeah. So, for the entire pint, it's only six grams of six net carbs, and five net carbs. So, let's put these in the fridge. That was really weird. Like, my friend called me, it must have been like a butt call or something. She just didn't notice it until I, until I answered. So, this is Pasta Zero spaghetti. It's gluten free, it's vegan. Per serving, there's this is really weird. Um, per serving, it's only three net carbs. And there's only two servings in here, so it's six net carbs. This is really disgusting. I'm going to use this to make chicken alfredo. Okay, let's put these eggs away before they go bad. I got two containers of an 18 count of large white eggs. Guys, groceries are expensive. I got a rainbow unicorn bang, <laughs> guys. It's like one of the most girlier, girliest things out there, but it's so good. I only got one of those, though. I got more bangs, but that's like the one rainbow unicorn that I got. Um, next, I got two things of regular cream cheese. Regular 
or the egg loaf. Next, I got pepperoni because I'm making, okay, I got a few things here that all go together. I got some mozzarella cheese and some pepperoni. This is for pizza. I'm not making a keto pizza. Monday, I'm making the spaghetti, um, but my friends are coming over and I'm making homemade pizza because they don't, they're, one of their favorite meals is pepperoni pizza, but they never had homemade pizza, so I'm making that for them. So yeah, I did get some things here that are not keto, but don't worry, I won't be eating them. It's for something else. Then all the bags over here to sit. Um, I got five sparkling ice drinks. Um, I think it would be really good with the lemonade. I'm sorry that I'm not like peppy guys. I've just been, I've, I've had a really rough week. Mashed cauliflower. Um, I think it tastes almost just like mashed potatoes. So it's not carbs the entire thing. So if I had this and like some chicken, I'd be good. I'm doing intermittent fasting, so. That's why I didn't get any snacks. Except that we'll be having coffee in the morning, but or an, an or, or an energy drink, but it's not gonna really give me that much. I got some margarine, zero carbs. So next. Let's talk about some macros here. We're going to talk about macros while we, while we go over these. Brussels sprouts. For one serving of Brussels sprouts, it is five carbs. So if you want six Brussels sprouts, that's five carbs right there. So if I had 12 Brussels sprouts, which isn't much, I would, I would be having 10. But if I want to have 18 Brussels sprouts, then I then that means that's 15 carbs, which is fine if you're intermittent fasting and that's 15 carbs and then your chicken will be zero unless you add a crap ton of seasoning, which you shouldn't be anyway. That's, it's not going to hurt, this won't hurt you that much. It's actually pretty, won't hurt you at all. I got, so I can make like three meals out of these, maybe even four. I do Brussels sprouts. And then broccoli. A big bag of broccoli. Um, this is two carbs and there's 10 servings. So if I have five, half of this bag, that's 10 carbs for one meal. And then for the, I got green beans <clears throat> for something quick. This is three carbs and there's six servings. So half of this would be nine. So two meals, four meals, about three meals, maybe four. It's about eight meals we're getting out of all of this. more bang. I got a Star Blast. Well, I got two Star Blasts. Extra virgin olive oil, robust flavor. I wanted like a deeper flavor with the olive oil because I used the light tasting and I really didn't like the light tasting. I feel I, I wasn't tasting the olive oil, but I like the flavor of olive oil. So I really wanted some more flavor added to that. So I did get more. I got the robust tasting one. 
just to really help with the flavors um, from the oil, to help with the flavor of the vegetables. So we'll put it up here with the baking stuff. Hopefully I have enough room because I have other baking things. All right, so let's talk about this. So this is Sweet Choice. Zero calorie sweetener tastes just like sugar. So, this is basically stevia because you. Oh, wait. So basically, it's it's kind of like the conversion chart is kind of the same. Um. I mean, equivalent sweetener to five pounds sugar. So apparently, it says compared to Splenda. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's better than Splenda. I don't know. But yeah. I mean, ingredients: maltodextrin and sucralose, which is the sugar. I'm gonna use it for when I make something. I'm gonna make some. I'm gonna use it for when I make um, egg loaf. Food Lion. Mike makes somebody else. All the non keto stuff is gonna be for somebody else. Sour Patch Kids. Uh, yeast, again, for the pizza, not me. Can you use yeast on, when you're doing keto? It doesn't have nutrition facts. I don't know. Uh, this Arlick... I mean, garlic, herb, stir in, herb blend. For one teaspoon, it's 10 calories and one carb for a teaspoon. So I would, I would put this in like a Brussels sprouts or something for some added flavor. I got two six packs of Splenda, as I usually do. I got the root beer and the cola. I got a lot of drinks. I'm trying to be more eco-friendly. Yes, I know I'm using plastic bags, so I'm kind of like not being eco-friendly, but I am getting some of these metal straws. Um, because my sister, she got these like portable metal straw, not straws online, but I saw these in the store and I wanted to get some because I think they'd be very helpful and they are good to the environment. Okay, good. When my sister first got her portable one, like she couldn't like get anything out of it. Like it was like she was like, she couldn't get anything out of it. So I got these four. These are the little cleaners for them. Goes in there. This is for when I'm making something that I'm not going to eat for like a, a dinner or something. Unbleached all purpose flour. I don't like to use bleached flour just because, again, there's bleach in your flour. Bleach should not be going into your body. And if I have room up here, I can, I can make some more. Next, 
Uh, green tea. Oh, a razor. These were expensive, but I got the Publix brand because the Publix brand will be cheaper. And this also isn't for me, although I might keep it because it smells kind of nice. It's, um, it smells really good. It's like all natural hand soap. So. Next, we have Truvia, which it's like, it's like stevia only. I think it tastes better. Oh, calorie-free sweetener from the stevia leaf. So I guess it's, it's stevia, erythritol, and then another natural sweetener. Oh no, erythritol, stevia leaf extract, and natural flavors. I really like this stuff. Uh, my friend, again, Kendra Martin, she brought this stuff because she brought egg loaf over and she's like, I don't know if I add it, if I used enough of the stevia. So here's some trivia just in case we need, need some sweetness. And I put it on mine and she left like three or four packs back. Um, she didn't take them with her. So I used them for my coffee because it was only a little bit. Um, and I really liked it. And this comes with 40 packets. Um, I just use one packet, you know, serving size one packet. Um, oh. It's, okay, yeah, it's zero net carbs because it's a sugar alcohol that adds to this, so it's zero net carbs. Yeah, I know, it looks messy up there, but I think maybe I haven't had time to really organize it. I got some storage bags, quick size and gallon size. I got gummy bears for the same person. Again, all this candy is not for me. I'm, I, I'm proud of you. Like, you guys can trust me on that. Axe, this is not mine either. Himalayan pink salt, the grinder. I'm almost out of pink salt. And cotton candy bang. So I got four bang drinks this week. Because then, because when Monday is Monday, I'm going to have one. And then I'll have one Wednesday. And I'll have one Thursday. And I'll have one Friday. Just because Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I get up at 7 o'clock in the morning. And I get really tired. And I can either have coffee or have a bang. Um, so one day I might have coffee, one day I might have bang, it just depends. Um, I think what I'll do is though, I'll just have coffee Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and use these for my pre-workout, because uh, I do work out on Thursdays. Um, and this is what that basically is on pre-workout. Um, so it's good for like, drink it like half an hour before your workout, uh, or finish it half an hour, or drink it while you're working out. Um, and that's what you do. Because that's basically what it is, is a pre-workout. That's what the label says. Next, I have to explain some of the stuff that I bought. All right, um, breast cancer awareness bracelets. I found these at Dollar Tree and I wanted to use these. Okay, I'm making mugs and they're, they're marble mugs. What you do is you pour this into some water and you dip the mug into it and I'm making a few different kinds. Um, so this one's going to make one of them. This is going to make one. This is black. Um, this is like a turquoise or a, or, or a teal. Maybe. That will make one. Uh, this is green. This is going to make two of them. Oh, this is uh, garlic and herb pasta sauce. This is for the pizza.
Uh, oh, uh, tongs. I, for some reason, cannot for the love of me find my tongs, so I'm using these now. I have two mugs in here. Here's some blue nail polish. I got six different kinds of nail polish. Oh, one of them fell into one of the mugs, red. So I'm going to use red and black to make myself one and like try it out and see. I've made them before, but I think that like, oh, like doing it in red and then dipping it in blue and doing like a partial red and black type thing would be really cool since red and black are two of my favorite colors. So we're going to do something like that. So I think I might do a video on that actually where I make the mugs. Um, so we're going to do that and then... I just had something in my mind. Oh yeah, I also got batteries because Kendra's mom gave me something. She gave me this. And it's like a really small electric wick, uh, whisk or a really small electric mixer. And basically you use this to make heavy whipping cream, like a, like a small amount of it. Like if you want to like take heavy whipping cream, put some like lemon juice in it and then use this to make like a lemon meringue dessert kind of thing. Um, if you're really wanting, like, wanting something with some sweetness. Um, so I got batteries for it because I'm wanting to try it. And I think it uses double A's. It looks like it uses double A's. And if it doesn't, that's going to be a problem because I might be able to go to the store again for a while. It's just, it's hard for me to go to the store because i got to find someone to drive me. and It's the struggle. But, okay. Yes, these are the two double A's were good. I actually haven't, I haven't used these yet. Um, hopefully I put the batteries in right. Okay, maybe I put them wrong. Yeah, I put them in the wrong. <laughs> My bad. So let's. Yeah, look at that. That's so cool. So it. It's for when you want to make yourself some, or you can use this for your coffee in the morning. This will really lift your coffee pretty quick. Um, so yeah, Kendra's mom got it for me, so I want to use that. This will be used every every day. I can say that right now. Um, so we're gonna do that, and then I got two mugs. Um, I already have three three mugs, but I got two more to decorate um, with what I got at the store. So that video will be coming out soon. I haven't made it yet. I'm going to do them. I'm probably going to make it tonight. Um, so that's everything for this video. I'm sorry I wasn't as peppy as I usually am. It's just been like a long week. I've had a lot going on this week. It's been really just um, a lot of like I've been doing well in school and doing well with church and doing well with you know keto and weight loss i've lost 20 pounds so far which is great and you can see it in my face and you can see it in my body it's just that like recently it's just been kind of like i kind of feel kind of empty like i kind of i kind of just feel like you know like i know that like i'm not alone because i have a lot of friends i have family and i have you guys like my subscribers like i have a lot of people who support me within YouTube and within like school and with church and I have a lot of support. It's just that, you know, recently it's kind of felt kind of like, you know, I'm the only one who deals with this feeling of like loneliness and like, of like, you know, I feel kind of like numb, like no emotions happening. Um, but I'm, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have told you guys all that. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, well, 
I'm sorry I know it's such a negative note. Um, maybe I'll do a video to talk about how what I feel and like what's going on just to process it. But I hope you guys have a great day. And um, just remember to keep munching. <laughs>